And the council has been very clear since the time they were elected that they did not believe this transition should take place. The city of Surrey isn't backing down from stopping the Surrey Police Service transition despite a provincial order to change policing services. On Friday, Surrey announced it's filed a petition with the B.C. Supreme Court to review the government's order. It's the latest in a series of years-long disagreements over who should police the city, and some residents think it's become a serious waste of money. I think they should just go with the private service. Like, it seems like it would, that would be more beneficial to the community, in my opinion. She's wasting her time and money for all the people who are there. I'm very disappointed in uh, today's decision. It's just another way that the mayor is stalling uh, the ultimate decision at the expense of taxpayers. The controversial transition away from the RCMP to the Surrey Police Service started in 2018 under the previous mayor, Doug McCallum. Current mayor, Brenda Locke, ran on a platform to keep the RCMP, and she and the new city council are still trying to stop the change. But on July 19th, BC Solicitor General and Public Safety Minister Mike Farnworth ordered Surrey to replace its current RCMP force with the SPS. Speaking to reporters on Friday, the city's lawyer Peter German says most of council continues to oppose the transition and that it will cost taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. The cost of the legal action will pale by comparison to the cost of this transition if it were to continue. Did the Solicitor General have the jurisdiction to make the decision that he did on July 19th? And that is what's before the courts. Farnworth says he's extremely disappointed in Surrey's decision, speaking to media with other public safety ministers in Quebec. I find it hard to understand why the city of Surrey would want to waste taxpayers' dollars on fighting a decision that's already been made. A spokesperson from Mayor Locke's office told City News the mayor wouldn't be commenting further on Friday, but in a statement she said, Surrey simply cannot accept the extraordinary burden that our taxpayers will face as a result of a provincial order that will not deliver any public safety benefit. Farnworth says changing police services is coming. And I'll just say this, stay tuned for next week. In Surrey, Kirjunos, City News.